Hey, listen. One, I did a short on this making good situation. And uh, this is one of our problems in our world is a lot of time people always talk about, oh, we don't need to be judging and we don't need to be minding our business. Our business is the public image that especially people of your gender or your race, nationality is showing to your children. That is our business. And we got to address that and speak on it so that those who send in these images and these messages <clears throat> could understand that there's a responsibility to this. And so one of the things we need to understand is you cannot, women have to stop praising boyfriends because it's a lot of women get married and get mistreated, get cheated on. It is very, very unwise to be standing beside boyfriends in controversial issues, trying to prove some love. Because if a woman was accused of, if a woman was accused of date raping a man, drugging that man, I guarantee you. Hey, yes, sir. Thank take you. Care. Yeah, take care. Appreciate it. Doing a pickup for my wife for her trip tomorrow. I guarantee you, if a woman was accused of some type of assault or something like that, ain't no boyfriend gonna be standing beside her, holding her hand, walking in the court. Unless he there for money, unless he there for money, unless he there for clout, unless he there for a come up. And this the thing, it ain't even about Megan and what she doing. This about women in general because this is behavior that I'm seeing going on. It's like look at the state and the quality of men, and it's women. Letting boyfriends live off of them, use their car, use their credit, use their connections, come up under them, and grown men don't need that. You know who Jonathan Majors need to be supported by? His mama, because she gave birth to him. If she's alive, it need to be his mama. If she's gone on to meet the Lord, it need to be his sister, his auntie, his grandma, not a girlfriend, not no girlfriend. And then listen, we, for those of y'all who coming out of relationships, God forbid me and my wife go through a divorce, God forbid, if me and my wife went through that, <laughs> you're not finna see me with another woman. If I was to move on after being, if I was married nine years, if I was to move on, it's been to be two, three years. You got the heal. Now, maybe it's been two, three years. I, I don't know, but it feel like yesterday because her ex-husband still doing interviews talking about it. He doing interviews for his new movie talking about the relationship, talking about the divorce. Somebody just told me he just preached on being single and the beauty of being single. When I was talking about how after a man crossed 30, every five years after 30, I started to look at him with a little more of a squint if he's not married. And then when it was like, no, nah, single life is beautiful. Devon Franklin just preached on it. Yeah, Devon Franklin's been married nine years. So his single life totally different because he's single again. Back on the prowl. Like uh, Trina them or whoever it was with the song. That's totally different. Then if he was 40 years old, never been married, now it's like, brother, what's going on now? What's going on? What is going on? There's too many women out here to be single at 40. Never been married. Now, come on now. Let's get it together now. Let's get it together. What, what you got going on? Because, see, listen. If you're going to be single at 40 as a man, you got to have that oil dripping off of you. I mean, that anointed oil. You hear me? But see, most people don't understand this right here. And everybody not called to this. 
There was one lady about to get blocked in the comments telling me not to judge. For one, anything I say is never judging because what does a judge do? A judge sentence you. I ain't judging you. I can't do nothing but warn you. I can't sentence you. So I ain't never judging you. But it's our duty as Christians and as humans and as brothers and sisters to warn one another. If I'm out here moving crazy with uh, against my wife or in my life and you see me moving crazy, you're going to say something. You're going to say something. That's what you're supposed to do. And so what Megan Good need to be doing, if she want to support him, okay, support him. But don't put your name, image, and likeness, your NIL, on this man when you don't know that this man is innocent. And regardless of what he even told you, it's like this right here. Well, this is what I try to tell y'all. With any type of allegations, 9 out of 10 times, 50% of it true. 9 out of 10 times, some of it true. Because listen, if just making allegations against people was so easy, then all of us will have allegations. I'll be in court right now. Look at the size of my brand. I'm more public facing and more in the public and talking about relationships. So if allegations were just so easy and so common, then it'll be a white woman out here, Tony Gaskins just went upside my head last week. And I got a bruise right here to show it. And I want a million dollars. And guess what? It'll be hard for me to prove that I ain't do it. It'll be hard for me to prove that I ain't do it. But so, but you know why it's not happening? Because that's just not even the nature. That ain't even the nature of a woman. And this is what you got to realize now. It's it's not it's the nature of a woman with no class, no none of that. But guess what? The chickens come home to roost. So if a man is out here sticking his thing in a woman with no class, no integrity, no dignity, then guess what? He reaping what he sold. He reaping what he sold. But see, and this is a conversation that sometimes women got to just sit back and listen. The men talk to men. Jonathan know what I'm talking about. He know what I'm talking about. And one thing men know men, listen, listen. I can look at a man and know what he'll do with a woman. Men know men. One thing women do not have, nine out of 10 women, 99.9% .9 of women, when it comes to men, women lack discretion. That's how so many women could look at that man and can't even see him. That's how making good, standing beside him and walking with him. Let's say he innocent. Let's say he innocent. Okay, I'm going to tell you what a man, a real man, I'm going to tell you what he going to do. A real man who is not Concern, who is not selfish Who ain't got no narcissist in him This what this what We would do We'll say hey hold on Now this right here I'm innocent on this This woman is lying on me This woman wants some money She trying to come up on some money She thought I was going to marry her I tried to break up with her She thought she had came up So she, she tried to fight me. I had to defend myself, get off of me. I didn't hit her. I ain't swing on her. I ain't do none of that. She marked herself up, took some pictures, released it, said I put hands on her. I'm 100% innocent. We got evidence that's going to prove my innocence. But one thing about it right here is I don't want you going to court with me. I don't need you. In, I'm, I'm a grown man. I'm, I got in this on my own by dealing with this woman. I could go to court on my own. You're not my wife. So I'm not going to ask you to do wife duties. I'm not going to ask you to stand by me like Cookie stood by Magic when he caught them, when he caught that hill. I ain't going to ask you to stand by me like Vanessa did with Kobe. Uh, God rest his soul when he got that case. When he caught that case in Colorado for what the woman said he did to him. I ain't going to ask you to do that. Cause you not my wife. You got a brand, you got a name, you you fresh off a divorce, and you was not married to, you wasn't married to Lil Boosie or 21 Savage, you know, somebody who got this rough image, tough image. You was married to a 
Holy Ghost filled pastor. It just, although I'm a good person, it will not look right for you to be coming off of being married to a pastor, to be holding hands, walking down the courtroom aisle with your boyfriend who is facing an assault case against a woman. It's different if it's an assault case against a man. But the thing about it is, even though if you're a woman and that's your man, if that's not your husband, what women have to understand is that a man has done nothing for you until he walked you down the aisle. And even when we walk a woman down the aisle, that's the beginning. That's the beginning of the marathon. You hear what I'm telling you? A man has done nothing for you until he walk you down the aisle. A real man is not going to ask you to put your name, your brand. Because look, now Jonathan Majors got people like me who got sense, who got discernment, who got a calling, who got a mission, who got a purpose, who don't even be speaking names until this new season. I got to call it out. Everything that is sending a negative message a negative image i'm calling it out and you could call it judging if you want to call it judging you ain't got a heaven or a hell to put me in i'm doing what god called me to do because we got to grow up we got to mature we got to be responsible for how we show up in this world for these kids because guess what what y'all don't understand for the ignorance men and women in the comments is by this grown woman who done made this money, who done built the brand, who got a name standing beside this man who is accused of abusing another woman, even if he innocent, her standing beside this boyfriend will have your 16 year old daughter standing going back to her boyfriend after he punched in the eye. Just because she saw a rich, known celebrity standing by an accused abuser. And guess what? Just like there are men who are wrongfully accused, there are men who are rightfully accused and still get off. You don't think OJ did it? How he rock around here acting? How he talking? man said the entertainer said OJ did it you don't think OJ did that man come on now who else want to do that to that woman and that man who else got any kind of motive to do that to that woman and that man now I ain't saying OJ did it but listen it sure come close looking like it now so listen if you look like it I can't stand beside you no no I'm going to let your mama stand beside you. I'm going to let the Lord stand beside you. I'm not standing beside you. I can't do it. No, I got too much to lose. I got too much on the line because guess what? <coughs> now, we don't necessarily see making good, getting no endorsement deals and all of that. You know, if we keep seeing her, she get a little tube moving here and a little... Netflix movie here and a little Peacock and Hulu here and there, BET TV One. But we ain't necessarily seeing all these endorsement deals. But think about this we live in a society to where if you look like, smell like, sniff like, walk like, talk like, you come close to looking like you and some controversy brands is dropping you. Brands is dropping you. So, what if Chris? was just getting ready to call Megan Good and say, hey, we want you to be in the next Crest commercial because we love that smile you got on you. You went through a divorce and you smiling bright. We got a thing about our next campaign is called Keep Going and we want, we was going, we're going to have a voiceover. Your voiceover is going to say, you know, sometimes life gives you lemons. You got to make it lemonade. And then brush your teeth with Crest. I've been through some things, but I made it out. Crest just getting ready to call. Nah, Crest can't be tied up with no accused abuser. 
even if he is innocent, even if the man innocent, the brands got to distance themselves. So guess what? Her walking down there beside him, she's saying, I'm the judge and jury, he innocent. But the brand who getting ready to give an endorsement deal, they saying, no, sister, we don't know that. But one thing we do know now, if you got money, if you got power, you could be guilty and be named innocent. Because if your agent in that society and that judge is in that society, you could be guilty and be named innocent. But see, everyday people who ain't in the industry, who ain't moving around, who ain't got celebrity contacts, who ain't got celebrity clients, who ain't got celebrity friends, might not understand that. And then we gotta just stop assuming that just cause somebody your skin folk, they can't, they, they your kin folk. That's how we getting bamboos or not. It's because we think that just cause somebody look like us, they automatically innocent. No, it ain't about that. Justice got to be served no matter what race, gender, color, creed, religion. If you wrong, you wrong. If you wrong, you wrong. I'm standing on the side of justice and right. If you wrong, you wrong. Now, we gonna put it in the court hand, but guess what? What's, what happened? If the court say you innocent and you were guilty, God still gonna make you pay a price. That's why we see people get off innocent, but they was guilty of the crime and they end up getting jammed up in another crime. They end up getting messed up in another way because you're going to reap what you sow. And this is what folks got to understand like this right here. Now listen, people ain't just going around out here just lying. People ain't just out here just going all the way to court off no lie because you could be put in jail for perjury like that. <clears throat> you going all the way to court. That's a defamation lawsuit. You going all the way to court off a lie. That's dangerous. People know that. People know that. That's why people ain't just out here making up lies. Because you're going to get sued to the end of the world. So listen, when stuff come out, that's why we 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 believe half of it until it's proved all the way. But this ain't even about that. What this is about is praising boyfriends who ain't did nothing for you. And ain't talking about doing something for you, paying you a bill, paying your bills. But see, that's the thing. That's what people don't understand. People can't see. Because you got to have spiritual lenses to be able to see. Because when, because see, when you look at that brother before he got buffed for that Creed movie, and you look at how that brother dressed, because even that outfit he got on when they walking in that courthouse, he liked to wear homeless fashion. <clears throat> Most women don't know nothing about that homeless fashion. <clears throat> A lot of women ain't into that homeless fashion. So, the way that brother ain't got no clean line up, and that brother look, how he look, we know that look. We got, all got a cousin look like that. Uncle look like that. Brother look like that. We got, and guess what? They is that you're not raking in no bunch of women. The women who look like Megan Good in high school and who look like him, they're not getting together. But see, people don't be having spiritual discernment. People don't be having no discernment whatsoever. But see, one thing about it is, one thing I know, 85% of actors got to get a second job. 85% of actors. And when you get, just because you on TV, you know what you get on them little TV show, you might get $50,000. You blessed if you mess around and touch six figures. You touch six figures, but then it depends on how many seasons you got. But then even then, that still ain't enough money. Because guess what? We in the seven figures and it still ain't enough money. A lot of people don't understand that though. And a lot of people for these little shows on Tubi is not getting seven figures. So guess what? You got bills to pay. That husband been gone. But this, this here man, in all this controversy, but got a bag to his name. What a man gonna do? If you finna walk down that courtroom, holding hands while he, while he facing a assault charge against a woman, not against no man now, 
I would need, I still would probably say something because just too soon after that divorce. Like, you need to sit down somewhere and heal. You married nine years, you should not be seen with another man for two, three years. And it's male or female. I'd be upset with Devon Franklin if he step out here with a woman right now. And men are seen as promiscuous and a lot of women promote and condone and reinforce the promiscuity of men. And that should not be. A lot of women teach their son to be prom promiscuous and okay it. A lot of mothers lying to the, to the son girlfriends and see the son got two, three girlfriends and lie to all the women <coughs> and support the son. Tell him I'm lying because I did it. And my mom and dad were pastors. And they got to meet a different woman every week. So the, tell him I'm lying. I know I ain't lying because I'm a man. And I got male friends. And I grew up male. And I'm around all males. And our promiscuity, our ignorance is reinforced even by our parents and our grandparents. But it come a time to where we got to wake up and smell the Folgers in the morning. And when you see a man speaking on an issue to protect women and to correct men, shut your behind up and stay out the comments and get out the way of the work of the Lord. We is out here to protect women and protect men, correct women and correct men. And anybody could get it. So shut up and exit stage left or go get you a page because guess what y'all done woke a sleeping giant up and I'm finna be calling the devil out because God did not call us to stand by no boyfriend and no girlfriend you was called to stand by your husband and your wife and then one lady in the comment talking about Something about the woman being on the back. I ain't even say nothing about the woman being on the back. I don't even know if they sleeping together. The woman wrote a book called The Wait. So she might still be waiting. And it worked with the last man. So she might say, shoot, it's finna work with the next man. I'm finna make his butt wait. And the man she with right now, he, it ain't as many women gonna say he more handsome than her ex-husband. So if her ex-husband waited, and he could have a line of women. I know Jonathan Mayer's got to wait. Because listen. Can't be around here with that hell line growing out like that. And wearing them homeless clothes. And then think you just finna be flipping and tossing everything. Nah. But see, guess what? Let me tell you about what I'm telling you. Because a lot of people don't have discernment. A lot of people don't understand that it's hard to make a living out here, man. And, and this is what people don't understand. I'm on TV right now. I got a show right now on MTV. So I know what you get paid for being on TV. <laughs> I know what you get paid for being on TV. Listen, listen to me. You ain't, you ain't kicking your feet up off no TV check unless you is a O, 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 you a triple O G. Ain't nobody kicking their feet up off no TV show, but Viola Davis, no. Kerry Washington, no. I'm guaranteeing you. Jonathan Majors can't even kick his feet up yet. Can't even kick his feet up yet. But guess what? He got enough money to where if I'm a man and you finna stand beside me in an assault case against another woman and you a woman and women need to be banding together and sticking together and a woman need to be able to say, well, hold on now. You know, I, 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 you know, I believe you. I trust you. I know you, but you know, just for the image sake of things, we need to see this thing all the way through. You know, I we need to talk in the dark before we in the light. But guess what? As a man, if you finna walk down that courtroom hallway with me while I'm fighting an assault charge against a woman, man, I'm finna pay all kind of rent and mortgage and car note. Man, I'm finna, I'm finna be the white boy on your roster feeding you a lost imposter, cash out for Zell. I'm finna send you 850. Better yet, I'm finna send you a stipe. Cause you find his H. That's 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 who I'm finna be. 
If you finna walk down this courtroom aisleway with me holding my hand with the paparazzi taking pictures, and you finna put your whole brand on the line, because guess what the term is? Guilty by association. So, <coughs> you know why some people don't get deals? Because they hang around thugs. Some people can't get no deal because they hang around thugs. So they can't get no endorsement deal. So if you notice, if you notice, little baby, little baby the rapper, he don't hang around thugs. If you notice, he never really flick up with just, you know, certified killers. Like he really be by himself. A lot of his pictures, he is stepping by himself. Now he probably got somebody around him or whatever. But he be by himself and he talk about that. I be by myself. I be by myself. I like being by myself. He talk about that. So guess what he doing? He in the Mountain Dew commercial. It's either Mountain Dew or Red Bull or something. And they got a song playing. He in there. He talking. And they done put that man in there with that Atlanta accent. And he got the deep, the deep zone six or whatever that accent too. I mean, well, it hard for black people to understand what he be saying let alone white people i know white people be like uh what uh, what did he just say because <laughs> i'd be like what did he just say and i'm country i got an accent and can barely understand him so for him to be able to get an endorsement deal guess what they want to do the same thing they would love to give Lil Durk an endorsement deal i ain't seen Lil Durk on no commercial yet you know why because all this music every song is about Catching bodies, catching bodies, catching bodies, catching bodies, sliding on this off, sliding on that off, sliding on this off. And Lil Dirt, he keep that hair done nice. That hair be, that hair be done, boy. And then, you know, he keep up with himself. That man will have $10 million in endorsements if he wasn't killer associated, if he wasn't goon affiliated, if he wasn't. All the way locked in, tapped in in them streets like that. That man will have $10 million a year in endorsements. So every person, I'm going to tell you why I don't have a lot of endorsements. I'm going to tell you why I don't have a lot of commercials. I was watching TV today and seeing Kev on stage and his homeboys on the Spectrum commercial. Why, I, why don't I have a Spectrum commercial? Because I'm controversial because I'm opinionated, because I'm an outspoken Christian. So the brands, they they like, listen, man, this man, he be talking about Jesus Christ, so he's gonna offend some Muslims. He's gonna offend some Buddhists. He's gonna offend some Hindus. He's gonna offend some Jews. He's gonna offend some atheists. And we are a brand and we want everybody to subscribe to our cable. We want the celebrities that he mentioned in his videos who's sending out a message or an example that might not be healthy for the youth. While we agree with him, we cannot stand beside him because we need to please everybody. This, we are in cancel culture, so we gotta be pleasing to everybody. That's why it ain't a bunch of brands chasing me down because <coughs> you got to think about it. Y'all got to forget I'm still under the weather. You got to think about it. If this man over here, when you watch your commercials, watch your commercial. When you watch your commercial, now you tell me when you watch your commercial, do every man you see on TV look absolutely hands down look better than me. Just absolutely hands down like, man, that man, Tony looked like the bottom of a shoe. And this man on here looking amazing. But listen, here I am with a brand, got an audience, got a following, got, got some facial recognition. But guess what? I ain't got endorsement deals because I'm country. <laughs> I'm blood raw. I call it like I see it. That's why I ain't even got no friends in the industry. I ain't got no friends in the industry. Listen, I know all of these people. I, I know these people follow me. And I still say their name. That's that's taboo. You ain't supposed to do that. When somebody follow you, you ain't supposed to say their name. But one thing about me, I'm all the way R-E-A-L. 
I'm all the way R E A L. I ain't on, I ain't on no friend stuff. I, I'm working for God. So if the message you sending could put somebody in danger, cause see, this is what I think about. When I when I think about this kind of stuff, this is what I look at. When I see Maiden Good, who just got out of marriage to a past to a preacher, not too long ago, and he still on the radio bleeding. Talk about the marriage, and I see her instead of healing in the dark. Cause listen, I'm a relationship coach. I coach couples and relationships, and I've been married for 16 years, so I know you're not finna be married to somebody for nine years and then heal just no overnight. Not that fast. You're not finna heal. I'm coaching people who still is twisted up like a pretzel over somebody that they was just with for three years. And they wasn't even married. A lot of people ain't got no common sense, though. And don't understand that. How the heart work. It don't work like that. I guarantee you they still dreaming about each other. That's what a soul tie is. They still dreaming about each other. I guarantee you. Guarantee you. They still think about each other every single day. While she was walking down that aisle down that courtroom holding Jonathan hand I guarantee you for a split second the Vaughn Franklin popped in her head it might have been 5 seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds if you ever done been married if you ever done been in a relationship for 9 years if you ever done been through a long term relationship then you know you don't just hop and just up and just over somebody like that right there and so listen to me this is how I think about this thing. If a female standing beside a male who is accused of abusing or assaulting another female, guess what message that sends to the youth? That tells your 16-year-old daughter that if her boyfriend get accused of raping another girl or putting hands on another girl that she need to stand beside her boyfriend that she need to defend him she need to speak up for him just like Kamora Lee Simmons and her and Aoki Aoki and Karaoke was trying to do for their father and they had to come out now and denounce his behind because they start to see Hey, is this man really the monster that them women say he is? We've been trying to be, we've been trying to be copacetic. We've been trying to love this man. We've been trying to, listen, this man had to really exhibit some behavior for, for his blood daughters. He ain't adopt them daughters. That's his blood daughters. For his blood daughters to come out on the camera snotting snotty nose crying doing all of that because listen listen we really ain't got no class in our society we ain't got no that, oh stop judging we ain't supposed to be judging we ain't supposed to be judging that's why we going to hell in a handbasket with gasoline draws on now because everybody want to holler about we ain't supposed to be judging we ain't supposed to be judging we not judging only the judge can sentence somebody we can't sentence so no, nobody all we could do is warn somebody guess what them young ladies ain't got to come out and do that to their daddy for no money. They ain't, they ain't doing that for money. Because he ain't got no money to give them. <coughs> they ain't got no GoFundMe. They ain't got no GoFundMe. And the fact that we don't have no class in our society, them young ladies could easily go start them OnlyFans. And they could put on a one-piece bathing suit. With the heart shape in the bottom that just showed the just a little outside of the cheek and make a million dollars. And when nobody judge them, when nobody say nothing about it, when nobody care. Cause and the thing about it is today, women losing their mind. Women, get your bag, sis. Ooh, get your bag, sis. Yeah, ooh, yeah. I'd do it too if I could. If I had a flat stomach like that, ain't had it poop on me. I'd be right out there. Ooh, pop that thing. Ooh. Woman got the song out talking about her vagina pink and a booty hole brown. That's the society we live in. 
This is society we live in. The song, Girls Are Players Too. The other song, Got a White Boy on the Roster. When you listen to the song, she got a Jamaican on her roster. She got a Puerto Rican on her roster. She got everybody on her roster. So now women are promoting promiscuity. When for ages, the woman was the classy one. The woman was the stable one. Now, the devil got a string of women promoting a reprobate mind in women. The devil say, okay, the men already strung out and dumb. Now I'm finna have y'all women strung out and dumb. This is a trick of the enemy. This the adversary. This is how the adversary work. And see, listen, I ain't gonna get me my own show till somebody come to me and say, Tony, you could talk like this right here how you talk. Say what you wanna say, uncensored, unfiltered, talk how you talk, speak on what you wanna speak on. Because, listen, I ain't worried about having no friend. Because I, I read this scripture in the Bible, and it say, you rather please man or you rather please God. When I meet God, I want God to be able to say, son, you did everything I told you to do, boy. Well done, boy. But you did the work you were supposed to do, boy. You weren't worried about no, you weren't worried about being invited to the Rock Nation brunch. You weren't worried about being invited to the N, uh, EYL Invest Fest. You weren't worried about being invited to Mega Fest. You were worried about nobody fast. You was worried about God's best. Well done, son. And for the people who wanted to play friends, for the people who were so caught up being friends, for the people who were so caught up seeing wrong, seeing evil, seeing the youth being led astray and wouldn't say nothing, guess what, son? Don't worry about it. I got a hot place for them. It's a hot place for them. Don't even worry about it. Pray for them. Because they're going to be like the man in the Bible asking for somebody to come drop just a little drop of water on their tongue. Pray for them. Listen, I believe in God. I trust God. I love God. You can be an atheist all you want to. You can holler about not judging all you want to. Listen, judge me. Judge me. If I ain't living by the Holy Bible, if I'm sending out a wrong image for young men, judge me judge me correct me let me know hey tony you ain't a good role model for these young men hot tell me that i'm not a good role model for these young men because i'm holding men and women accountable about the image and the message they sending to the youth tell me i ain't no good role model for young men for telling women young ladies and women stop praising boyfriends Stop standing beside and defending and taking up for a boyfriend. Somebody that ain't even married you and been faithful to you and committed to you. Tell me I'm sending the wrong message to the you for saying love yourself, respect yourself, learn how to date, learn how to be in a relationship. Somebody talking about, oh, they love that real. No, no, it's about an image. Because let me tell you something about love. Love, you're not going to ask somebody else to risk their name and their image and their likeness when you in some controversial mess. If I get arrested for something and it's controversial, it's, it's something that's disrespectful. It's something that's disrespectful to women. Something like that right there. I done did something to a woman or a child. Even if I did something to another man, but it was just ruthless, it wasn't self-defense, I'm not going to ask my wife or my kids to come in that courtroom. I'm not going to ask them to stand beside me to try to make me look good, to try to give me a wholesome image. That's all that is. That's all that is. That's all that is. But see, love ain't going to do that. And that's what people don't understand. People don't even know what they be talking about. Oh, they just, that love just on that level. No, no, listen, because I'm going to tell you something about men. I'm going to tell you something about men. The thing about men is we so territorial that I don't even trust a man who is willing to quickly be in the public eye with a woman that was just getting power drive. I don't even try. And, and see, women will think, 
oh, well, that just mean he masculine and he confident. <laughs> no, that do not mean that. <laughs> it, it, it do not mean that. Because when you masculine and you confident, you do not want to be out in no public with somebody that was GS getting flip and toss. And we know every woman that is not abstinent is getting flipped and tossed. But it is a whole different thing when it's in the public eye. When it's in the public eye. So I struggle as a man even trusting those type of men. And I always look for the angle. I look for the angle. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. See, a lot of men, like what old boy doing, see a lot of men who nasty and they just want to fulfill lust. They want to fulfill a fantasy. They, those type of men don't really care. Like, that's why, look at the two men that said, that told women in their music, through their R&B, that told women, it don't matter about how many partners you have. Look at the two men that said that. Jamie Foxx and Neo. And look at them today. Old and nasty. Still ain't married. Still gallivanting. Promiscuity. That's the kind of men. That's the kind of mindset. Neo just said his own out his own mouth. He was somebody asking about somebody. Maybe it was Taylor Swift or somebody. He was like, no, I'm too toxic. He said he's too toxic. That's 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 right there when a man trying to warn you, right there. And this is what you got to realize. A lot of people don't realize it. A lot of people don't even realize it. But see, it's different. A man's discretion about men is going to be totally different than a woman's discretion. And that's why I don't even, and this is the thing. Also, the thing about men that a lot of women don't understand is this men that'll get mad enough just off of you speaking their name, they'll try to end you. They'll try to end you. Like, they'll try to do harm to you. Y'all got to realize that me, talk, me speaking on this stuff Put myself in danger. Put myself in danger. You don't believe me? Look at um NBA Young Boy. Just did a video talking to John Gotti uh, granddaughter. I think she is. Maybe she the granddaughter. Talking to her. Um, cause she went at Floyd Mayweather and, and, and instead of just talking to Floyd, she said. Your daughter slept with an animal. Talking about NBA Young Boy. I think that's his name. NBA Young Boy that came out and he said, Listen here, I don't care nothing about that girl. He said he hate her and all that. She can do whatever she want to do to her. Say he don't deal with her daddy. None of that. But he said, If you ever disrespect me again, Y'all gonna have to bomb me. And I'm telling you that nine, and I ain't gonna say nine, but seven out of ten of us will go to war by our name. And that's one thing I understand because I'm like that too. That's one thing I understand. So that's what you gotta realize when I'm speaking on this stuff, I'm putting myself out there on the line to protect somebody else. To send a message to somebody else because this right here this bigger than me see we got one thing I know is it's a lot of women being abused every nine seconds a woman is abused so that's why I'm also so against a woman standing beside a man who is accused of abuse it's like let let the, let the case play out. Let it be proven beyond a reasonable doubt that he is innocent. Then you stand beside him. But this man could be guilty. Just as well as he could be innocent, he could be guilty. So let him and God and his mama, his sister, his cousins, his aunties, let them stand in front line. You don't come in as no girlfriend, fresh out no marriage, stand in front line. 
that's that's that is dumb. That's dumb. You don't do that because that's bailing us out as men. That's bailing us out. And the only man, I'm gonna tell you something. A real man ain't even gonna put no woman on no front line like that. A real man not even gonna do that. And I'm gonna tell you something. Why you think every actor is not going to court? right now for alleged abuse if it's that easy to just hem somebody up just lie on somebody then they'll be lying on michael b jordan they'll be lying on idris they'll be lying on denzel they'll be lying on four with them because they because see with force they'll think we gonna believe it with force, they'll think we gonna believe it, cause so she taking a chance if she lying on Jonathan Majors, because that's hard to believe. A lot of people can't even believe that. So if it's just so easy to just go lie on somebody, then they'll be lying on everybody. They'll, they'll lie on um, Morgan Freeman. Um. They'll lie on Morgan Freeman. Cause he he probably ain't the cutest thing. Ford Whitaker. God bless him with that eye. That eye done made him millions of dollars. But they'll lie on him. Cause they'll be like, oh, with that eye, people gonna believe that. Cause they gonna believe he had the four of me. Cause, cause that right there. So listen, it's not that easy. That's why when this stuff come out, listen. See, when you a man and you done been around and you done been out there amongst women. You you learn as a man how how protective women are. You learn how you could dog a woman out and she won't tell a soul. Do you hear me? If women told the truth about what they went through at the hands of a man, <coughs> the human race, the, the male race will be extinct they, they'll, they'll stop making men if women told the truth I'm going to tell you something as a man who has not been a perfect man we under protection women protect men every single day every day and then guess what if it's a white woman that he in this case with and if she lying on him if she lying on them, that's what you get then. That's what you get. That's what you get. If she lying, that's what you get. Because you shouldn't have went outside your race thinking that uh, white is right. And stuff finna be sweet. Because she not black. If she lying, guess what I told you? The chickens come home to roost. If she lying, then that, that's, guess what? That's a man discernment. That's a man discernment. Point blank period. You got to think bigger. You got to understand. This ain't no good look. Because for one. I'm disappointed in making good. For even putting herself in this. I was like okay y'all dating. The world ain't got to know. The world ain't got to know. To me that make it look like. She trying to get some bills paid. Because. And then people are like, oh, she got a reason to get no bill paid. Listen, I'm telling y'all, money ain't like y'all think it is now. Money ain't like y'all think it is now. It's people who just won a Grammy sleeping on somebody's couch. It's people who is in your favorite show right now sleeping on somebody's couch. Listen to me. Money ain't like y'all think it is. Y'all don't know nothing about no Hollywood money. It, that's one thing that be blowing me when people who ain't never been on TV think they know something about some TV money. Listen, they ain't what it is. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you. That was a slick little move by Gabrielle Union going public, talking about they 50 50. Because she knew, she know deep down that the world finna put some heat on Dwayne Wade about that 50 50. And that he finna have to step up and start paying 100%. Because of the public, because of the public scrutiny. That was a slick little move. And if it wasn't intentional, I can't tell. I can't tell. Because one thing I know about it. And see the same thing about it. That's the same type of thing. That was said.
the same type of stuff they used to say about Gabriel Union, the same type of stuff they used to say about Megan Good. We don't know if any of it is true. But one thing about it is, boy, it's hard to pay them bills. I'll tell you that now. And so if for a woman to stand beside a man, when she could date him and talk to him in private, they could be building and be all this. And she could just say like, listen, I want to stay out the way because you going through this, I'm gonna support you, but I don't want to be out there in front, right there with you because I don't want to change the narrative. Like I don't want to add fuel to the fire because now people are gonna be talking about me. They're gonna be talking about Devon Franklin. They're gonna be just, it's gonna be adding all this other stuff. She could have said that right there. If he really loved her, respect her, he would have had to respect that. But then also I'm disappointed with him because he put her in that position. He messing up deals. Like right now, like right now, it's a woman who is a producer and a director. And when she was in college, her boyfriend put hands on her. And when she told his football coach, they did nothing about it. And now this woman producing films. Guess what? She was just finna cast Megan Good as the lead in her movie because she loved her look. Now she finna cast uh, Chloe Bailey or Haley Bailey or whatever the girl name. Now she finna cast her or she finna cast uh, Journey Smullett or um, one of the Maori sisters because it's just that's human nature. That's human nature. It ain't even, she can't publicly come out and say, I'm not casting Megan in my film because she's standing next to an accused um, abuser. She can't come out and say that because don't nobody know she was getting ready to cast her. But it's just because it triggered her. It triggered her because she like, listen, okay, let's say he innocent. Let him be proved innocent then. Let him be proved innocent then, but you don't stand there in direct opposition of of another woman if you don't know 100 percent that this man is because <coughs> all you going all you got to go off of is his word because you wasn't in that room you wasn't in there you weren't with them and this my thing is how in the world he tangled up how in the world he tangled up with another woman how in the world he dealing with another woman but then he's he's strong enough in a relationship him and making relationship deep enough that they hold the hands walking in the court. That don't even make no sense. That's too close together. That's too close together. But see, listen, you got to have discernment. You got to have discernment to even put two and two together. Like, this common sense. This common sense is it, it's something in here kitchen. This crazy. This crazy. This crazy. This look bad. It look bad. It's a bad look for men. Because a man shouldn't be putting no woman in no vulnerable, compromising situation like that. When she got a name, image, and likeness. Shouldn't be bringing no woman into his no court case. For one, look bad for men. And two, it look bad for women. Because a woman should not be standing beside no boyfriend. If that's your husband, and you know him like your shoe size, and you know this woman lying on him because you know this woman been wanting to be you. This woman been calling y'all phone. This woman been stalking him, harassing him. And you know for sure because you live with your husband. You done been with your husband for a decade. You know how your husband moves. You know how your husband got a target on his back. That's different. You standing beside your husband. But you just a hopscotch out of a marriage. This man just was in a situation with this woman, obviously, to be tangled up with her in a court case. You not supposed to be standing beside no boyfriend, man. Come on now. Come on now. Cause it cause the one thing too is, yeah, you ain't got to care about your ex. It ain't even about not caring about your ex. It's about how you look as a person. It's like, okay, you could you could be healed because the relationship, the marriage could have been dead two years before it ended. <coughs> Come on and say that though. Just to clear the ass so that. The innocent mind, so that the 16-year-old, the 17-year-old, the 18-year-old, the young 21, 22-year-old, when they look at this, they say, ba -bam. okay, boom, I see. All right, the marriage was dead two, three years before. Okay, that's where she was in therapy. She was healing. Okay, boom. Now, the time since the marriage, now she done been in therapy doing more healing. Okay, okay, I get it. All right, boom. All right, that makes sense. Thank you. So now, I know not to just hop and stand beside somebody in an accusation in a court case. 
just all willy nilly. Now I got some context to what's going on. And then people say, oh, well, don't nobody owe nobody no explanation. If you're in the public eye, you do owe an explanation because where much is given, much is required. If you don't want to have no explanation, then don't be in the public eye. You can go work in a warehouse. You can go work in corporate America. Just take your butt, write it down there on Wall Street, go in there, do your job, then go home. But when you're in the public eye, you owe the people an explanation. Well, much is given, much is required. We got to understand that. And if you don't understand that, then you got to be quiet at the stage low. Let the people who understand it, understand it and talk about it. But this stuff right here got to get talked about, man. Got to get talked about because we got children watching this. We got teenagers, young adults in college watching this stuff, seeing this message. Because then also it, it condone. We don't, we don't know what Buddy did. I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you, I can't judge nobody. Can't judge nobody. One thing I'm going to tell you, I don't put nothing past nobody. Because look at the work that I'm doing. Look at the work that I'm doing. And I was an abusive boyfriend. I was toxic. And look at the work that I'm doing. That's why I don't put nothing past nobody. There's so many people that be so naive. They look at somebody, oh, no, that person will never do that. Oh, that person will never do that. But see, one other thing that y'all don't understand, too, <coughs> well, nothing y'all don't understand is that I, I present as very, you know, normal and everyday, but I have three and a half million followers online. So I'm not just any talking head. And I've been doing this for a long time. So, but you got to realize a lot of times the people you see in the comments, they know the celebrity that I'm talking about personally. It's a lot of celebrity brothers and sisters and mamas that subscribe to my YouTube. That's why the one person who's talking about, oh, she's standing beside a black man and she's standing beside a black man and and I was upset when that white woman was lying on him and about to send him into slavery. The person who said that is a fake account. That's what it's like a burner account. I mean, they got like a bunch of numbers. Cause that that could that could be a mama, that could be a, uh, a family member, right there. That could be him. That could be him, right there. I want you to understand, like I ain't no, I ain't just jump off the porch yesterday. These folk know who I am. If you done been online for the last decade, you done seen my name, whether it's in a video or in a quote or somewhere. You done seen my name. Oh. And I ain't even tell y'all. I I know Megan Good. I met Megan Good in person. So this is how I want y'all to understand what kind of time I'm on. Like, I'm not on no friend stuff. Like, in this here industry, when you meet somebody and you shake their hand, I met her in person and shook her hand, and I'm still speaking on this because this ain't about her. This bigger than her. It's about the image. It's about the message. It's about what these young girls going to decipher from this. It's about what young men going to decipher from this because it's a lot of men that we don't put hands on women. It's a lot of men that's putting hands on women right now. And what the message going to send to men who putting hands on women, it's going to say, I could put my hand on a woman and another woman with a name, image, and likeness, and a brand, and millions to lose will stand beside me. And I could be guilty as rain. That's the message that is sending. And that's the message we can't stop can't send and we got to stop being stupid and soft and ignorant talking about oh well we shouldn't be judging that's why we losing as a race because we so worried about being called judgmental that we don't want to hold each other accountable about the representation that we have in this world that's our problem and that's why these other races are running circles around us that's why and that's what we got to wake up and smell the folders in the morning. And if you ain't bold enough, but I, but listen, I met Megan Good in person with Devon Franklin at Megafest. And I'm still speaking on it. Because guess what? If your butt sending a message that's detrimental in society, I got to speak on it. Because that's what I'm called to do. And if you don't understand that, that's because you're not called to do it. 
So shut up and let me do what I'm called to do. And you can unsubscribe. And I do not care nothing about no subscribers, about no numbers. I don't care about numbers. I don't care about it. That's why I don't play the YouTube game. That's why my titles be all over the place. I don't write no description in the description box. I don't use keyword tags. I don't use custom thumbnails. I don't care about numbers. I care about the work. I care about the work. The message is for who it's for. And so listen to me. Shut your mouth. Get out the way. And let the work be done. And if you want to get out here and be ignorant and send detrimental messages to the youth and to other impressionable adults, I'm calling you out. Because we got to do better. We got to do better. We got to understand what we represent and the message that we sending. Point blank period. Hey, this Tony Gaston. God bless you. I done made it back home. Got to get on in here. Help my wife get on ready for her trip tomorrow. Um, my sister going out of town. Little girl's trip. And me and my sons, we going out of town. Little guy's trip. Little father's son time. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Hey, God bless you. We'll talk soon.